the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 81, Judges 6-7 The war then made 300 soldiers. Gideon and 300 mighty warriors gained victory in the battle against the Midianites through faith and obedience to God and experienced the living God. First point, through the battle with Midian, Gideon and the 300 warriors were born. During the days of Gideon, Israel had been exploited by the Midianites for the past seven years. In order to save their lives, the Israelites found a cave to hide themselves in the mountains. The reason the Israelites were in such trouble was because they had shifted too much from the laws of a kingdom of priests. Despite this, God still had pity on the people and so sent Gideon to them as their judge. God told Gideon that he will be with you and you will strike down all the Midianites, leaving none alive. God told Gideon to knock down all the idols and so Gideon did so during the night when no one could see. At the time, the people of Israel, including Gideon, feared the Midianites because they were so substantial in number. But God told Gideon to tell the 32,000 people to leave and only select 300 people. God wanted Gideon and the 300 with faith to truly comprehend that it was God who fought for them. Gideon and the 300 obeyed and they were able to experience great victory. Second point, 22,000 feared as they thought 32,000 was a small number. The median people had 135,000 well-trained soldiers. But Gideon only had 32,000 people in his army. But God told Gideon to let those who were afraid to go home and so 22,000 returned home. God did not stop there and told a further 9,700 to return home. And he knew that they would boast of the outcome rather than glorify God. God left only the 300 who had faith. These 300 who did not let go of their spears, even whilst drinking water, obeyed God by letting go of their weapons and instead picking up a trumpet, a torch, and empty jars. They went in during the night with God's decided weapons and experienced great victory. Third point, God chose 300 soldiers for three reasons. The 9,700 out of 10,000 who returned home had high possibilities of boasting that they defeated the Midianites with their wisdom and strength. In other words, rather than praising a kingdom of priests, they would have been too busy praising themselves. The 300 who were selected were those who did not put down their weapons even whilst drinking water. They were also those who were able to obey every one of God's commands. These were the exact qualities that God wanted and needed from His army. Fourth point. Back in the ancient days, night battles were only for the specially trained. The Bible records quite a few instances of night battles. One would be 21st century BC when Abraham took 318 men during the night to save his nephew Lot. 
Another would be 11th century BC when Gideon fought during the night to defeat the Midianites. Fifth point, the 300 soldiers who won the battle confessed the miracles of a kingdom of priests. Gideon and his 300 soldiers were not able to defeat the Midianites with their number or their weapons alone. The reason they were able to experience victory was because they were holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. So the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, with great terror and with signs and wonders. One of you loots a thousand because the Lord your God fights for you just as he promised. Gideon and his men were actually able to experience this and leave their testimonies in a kingdom of a priestess. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life. 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 